Hi everybody, I'm Nicole Goujon with the My Belmont Sales team. We're just gonna wait here a minute. Um, we're in their show suite, wait for everybody to arrive, and then we'll be doing some cooking with you guys. And this is Peter Gaby, our sales director. And we are here with Chef Castro, who is culinary genius, owner of a restaurant right here in the heart of Langford. It's just actually a couple minutes away from the Belmont, and it's called the House of Boateng. Say hi, everybody. Hello. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're actually doing things a little bit differently. This is our third live event. And we just wanted to have some fun with you guys. So we're standing here right in the show suite of the Belmont, and we're gonna be showing you what it would be like to cook inside your kitchen. But the exciting part is this man has won multiple awards. He is going to be showing us an award-winning dish so we can follow along and learn how to cook this dish. Uh, I have too many awards to even list but his four most recent are eat magazine 2020 which was chef of the year best chef of the year also air canada best new restaurant for 2019 and then two yam magazine awards one for best chef and for best new restaurant and that was in 2019 so meet chef castro thank you for having me i'm excited about being in this kitchen um what a beautiful place uh beautiful countertop Stoves are amazing. Uh, we're gonna do one of my favorite dishes. Uh, this time of the year, it's all about the freshness. Uh, we live in this beautiful area here. Uh, all these ingredients here are gathered by my forger, just out in the local area. So when you're out there um, walking, you can find some of these amazing stuff here. So I'm just gonna put a dish together and uh, we're gonna have some recipes for you for later on. Um, so yeah. So what is this dish? This looks so good so, already. What we have here is um, we have all these beautiful, it's a spring. Uh, salmon is, is the, my favorite fish to have in the spring. Uh, wild salmon that we've caught in, the, in um, out here. We've lightly smoked the salmon. Um, and then on this plate, this is what you call spring. Okay, we have some beautiful sea asparagus. Um, we have some um, radishes. We have some flowers from our garden, uh, some chives. And then my favorite, um, I got this, this unripe strawberry. Now you're at home thinking, unripe strawberry. What would you do with an unripe strawberry? Yeah. This is something that, you know, it gives you that sweetness of strawberry, but it's not too sweet, you get more of the tart, um, and it's something that you can pickle. At this time of the year, when you get all these beautiful ingredients, you wanna be able to use it later on. So I have all these ingredients here that I, I get to pickle, so I can use them throughout the year. Um, in here, we got fiddleheads, uh, I mean, to me, the best vegetables right now. Um, they're they're uh, flavorful, they're uh, really, really colorful. They only last for two weeks. So mm -hmm. if we don't use them now, we won't be able to use, use them later on. So what we try to do is we buy a lot of them and then we pickle them so throughout the year, again, we can store them. Oh. Now having all these beautiful uh, cabinets, you can store all your vegetables in them. Um, here, we have all these pickled vegetables that they can go on your countertop. So we're really excited okay. about being able to share that with you guys here. Yeah. Amazing. How long do they last in the in the pickle jar? Once you pickle the jar and you seal them, uh, you can leave them in room temperature for as long as you want. Uh, what I actually mm -hmm. like doing every year is I do tons of jars and then I always keep one, well, every last one. I keep it for myself. Oh. And I hate it. <laughs> so what I'm hoping is by the time my kids are a bit older, I can give them something that's about 10 years old. Oh, something wow. that they can cherish. So oh, okay. um, yeah. But once you open them, you can have them in the fridge. Um, as long as you're using um, clean utensils to use them, mm -hmm. you can have them for months. Okay. Nice. Okay. Oh, you know what I just realized? I should mention, Peter is on his phone not because he's rude, but it's just <laughs> in case you guys have questions, if you want to interact and you have any questions for Chef Castro, feel free. We're going to be answering them, and he'll be uh, watching for them on the phone here. So he does have social skills, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Thank you that, for mentioning Yeah, that. I know. I was like, that's <laughs> looking mighty rude. <laughs> we better explain what's going on I here. just watching some... <laughs> Repeat games. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. So I'll start off. Um, I'll start off by uh, some. I have these beautiful cherry tomatoes here. I'm just gonna give them a nice quick cut. Uh, you don't really need to do too much with, with when you get fresh products, right? Um, the the um, strawberries that I was talking about. We'll take the top off. Save that there, and just 
it's a nice slice okay now look at the beautifulness of that right this strawberry if this was stayed on the vine for another three weeks you get that beautiful red strawberry but we're gonna take them now mm -hmm. we're gonna put them in our salad and then we're gonna pickle some of them later on okay so we'll put okay. these into our bowl um you cut a lot faster than i do <laughs> well, i do have a little yeah. bit of practice <laughs> uh shallots um again we've pickled them and then they're going to give us some sweetness, uh, a little bit of sharp flavor. And then it's also going to give us some color to our dish here. So we'll put a couple into there. Um, early on, I talked about the sea asparagus here. Uh, there, you get them all around the beaches. So when you go down to the, the, low, um, the edges of the beaches, you see these sea asparagus. What you get out of this is that flavor, that salty mm. beach um, flavor there. So you, they're really, really salty. So if you ever cook in uh, sea asparagus, did not add any more salt. Ah, okay. What beach do you go to get those? Um, we just go down to um, um, like a Squamot Lagoon. A Squamot okay. Lagoon mm -hmm. is, is great for there. Uh, we go down to um, um, Michosen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Michosen, another area in this uh, this neighborhood that has tons of forage food there. So we go down wow. there and pick up some of those. Oh, I have no idea. Now I'm going to talk about my next vegetable that I'm going to use. Um, this is Japanese knotweed. Okay. Now this is a very invasive uh, plant, but my forager thought, you know what, instead of allowing this to invade all the, our, our garden out there, we're gonna get them, because they're edible, and we're gonna use them. Okay. This is a way of not wasting food, okay? okay? So we'll take some of that and just slice them and put them into our salad here, okay? Nice. Um, and then here, being, being that it's spring, you want you want fresh, you want healthy, okay? So we got quinoa, uh, we have a little bit of quinoa to it. Um, we got some barley, a little bit of barley to it, and then some bulgur wheat, okay? Now all I've done with these is just uh, uh, boiling water, put a little bit of salt in there, bring it to boil and add my uh, barley in there. I cooked that for about 12, uh, 12 minutes or so. Uh, with the quinoa, I could have cut about eight to ten minutes. Okay, nice. drain it and then just um, get it ready to, to be served. Um, another beautiful ingredient that we get from our farmer is greens. Mm. You know, living out on the west coast, you're able to get all these beautiful greens, so you're allowed to be able to garden for from February all the way down to October. So we we'll add a little bit of greens to our dish there. Okay, it looks like a good variety there too. And then we'll get some radish. And we'll just slice the radish. Some radish there. Okay. Now the dressing. This is a very, very interesting dressing. I talked about foraging. Um, elderflower. Elderflower, we get them for about um, four weeks. Uh, so we take the elderflower and then we steep them in oil. Okay. And then we use that to make our dressing. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, so amazing. we take that, um, take a little bit of the dressing, yeah. put it in there. That is such a nice flavor. Mm, I'm getting hungry just looking at that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Get a little taste. Wow. Mm. Yeah? Very, very nice. Okay. Spring, lots of flavors coming mm -hmm. in. All the pickled vegetables really, really work well with the just dish here. What's your separation here with the dressing? So when we emulsify our, mm -hmm. our uh, vinaigrette, mm -hmm. we do it very, very slow. And what that does is it allows that the, the fat to really get together and, and, and uh, stay well together. And mm -hmm. what that does too is the, the oil. So we're taking oil and water and we, mm -hmm. we mix it together. So we have the oil, the water at the bottom. Okay. This is our part of our dressing. If mm -hmm. we want our dressing to be a bit thinner, we shake it right. and then we mix it in. But I like my dressing to be really, really um, almost stabilized. So mm -hmm. when you put it on the plate, right, okay. it just stays there. Right. Right. So you don't need too much. You can add a little bit to your salad and then put some on your plate for your garnish. And then as you're eating, you can continue to add dressing to it. Oh, nice. It's mm -hmm. a very, very good question there. Mm -hmm. So basically, by the end of today, we can all say that we know how to make an award-winning dish. Which we, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, if we do that, that's fancy. I think that's step one. Yeah. <laughs> Go buy some awards, hang them up at home. Oh, that's funny. <laughs>
<laughs> so I add that to it. Um, so I just add some of my sa uh, salad right onto my plate here. Okay. It's like artwork. It sure looks beautiful. Yeah. Looks incredible. Nothing I've ever seen at my own home. <laughs> <laughs> it's tragic. <laughs> so then I'm just going to take, make a little pocket here. Okay. Because we haven't talked about that star that we have here. Okay. Okay. Uh, sockeye salmon. Okay. The West Coast. Uh, this is it. You can't get any better than this. Um, in all of our rivers around us, you get this beautiful sockeye salmon. And what we've done is we just lightly smoke the sockeye salmon. Um, I'm gonna get into my fridge here. Um, and I have some more sockeye that I've sliced earlier that I'd like to show you. Okay. I love the French doors there. Yeah. Yeah, mm. lots of room for the fridge. I actually wanted to ask you too, I've heard, this is a little off topic, but with the vegetables, I've heard that if you put it into, like if you wash it, dry it, and then wrap it in a clean kitchen towel and put it into high humidity, mm -hmm. is that true? It'll keep fresher longer? Yes, it will. Okay, mm -hmm. pro tip. <laughs> so you can adjust in that fridge with the humidity. Okay, so Absolutely. wrap it. And when you have all these space here, all these crisps, right? They're great for your vegetable. They'll keep for a very long time. Okay. So this is a beautiful fridge mm -hmm. to have to use. Nice. Yeah. So how did you smoke this? Uh, so with my my sockeye salmon, first we cure it for about um, uh, four hours or so, just mm -hmm. uh, a salt cure. Uh, then we let it dry out overnight. Um, and then the next day we get our wood chips, we soak our wood chips in water um, and then we go half, half uh, soaked wood chips and the half dry okay. and then lightly put it into a smoker and then we smoke that four times uh, at about maybe five minutes interval, okay. just enough to get that flavor smoke. So we don't want to cook, we want cold smoke because um, for me, salmon should almost be in raw. Mm -hmm. That's the way I love my salmon. I don't like when salmon is really, really cooked. So when you look at the salmon that we've sliced, it looks like it's still raw. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. we just smoked it lightly in a mm -hmm. four, uh, a five minute interval. Or so, mm -hmm. um, so it's it's beautiful. Um, it really, really works well with this dish. And having a healthy mm -hmm. dish like this is, it, is that a cold smoke or yeah, a hot, it's a cold, cold smoke. Cold, cold smoke. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we'll take our salmon. Um, you can plate it any way you want, but what I like to do is. Take my salmon and then put it onto my pla uh, my plate. I'm gonna move my plate here. And do you also get your wood chips from the like the beaches and stuff, or where do you get those? Uh, my wood chips I buy um, from uh, Capital Iron, which mm -hmm. is very close in our okay. neighborhood. Yeah. You know, the one thing I I, lo I like living in this area. There's so many things around here. Like mm -hmm. there, you have so many places you can go and pick up shops. Um, you have obviously our restaurant. It's beautiful, um, but. Living out in the West Shore mm -hmm. um, is it's just an amazing place to raise your family, to, um, you know, all the sports activity here. Mm -hmm. Like, we have a, a football team that's, like, literally, what, five minutes away from yeah. us? Wow. Amazing place. Mm -hmm. And I love football, so I'm always there. Ah, so okay. you can always catch me over there. Yeah, I'm out here too. I, same reason. Well, not football. But <laughs> <laughs> not quite the football, but the beaches and the hiking. Well, and now I'm going to go get all my vegetables from the beach. Yeah, you're going to go over there right now, right? Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to try that out. I want to make this. You know what to look for now. Yeah. I'll have to take one of those and match it up. I call it. <laughs> so I'll put my salmon on. Add a little bit more. Oh, yeah. beautiful. Okay. Um, now uh, we still got a bit of radish here. We add a tiny little bit of radish here. We got this chives, uh, right. end of the year chives, but we'll take a few. Uh, we just sprinkle them all into the plate there. Now this is we're not just doing this because it's beautiful. We're adding it on because it's all gonna give us a bit more flavor. Okay. So that's what chives look like before they reach the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I've never yeah. seen them like that in a grocery store. So what happens with the chives is, um, it, once it flowers, you get this beautiful flower. Mm -hmm. Now the it's the bottoms are starting to get hard, but this is still edible. Okay. Right. So you you can see and you can grow <laughs> chives in your garden. I mean, on your patios, um, mm -hmm. in your backyard, we grow food for so long. You don't need a massive yard. You know, mm -hmm. wherever you want to grow food on Vancouver Island, mm -hmm. you can grow food. Nice. To add a little bit of that. Never seen well, that. S. Davies says uh, the dish is looking great. Okay. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I shouldn't be saying thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Just taking all the credit. 
credit here. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Add a little bit of garnish here, a little bit of flowers. Um, you know, talk about spring, right? Um, yeah. It's all beautiful. We have everything that we need in there, a bit of fiddleheads. So what, what, when is your restaurant open? Uh, like what, what are the hours? What are the hours? Right now we're open from Wednesday to Saturday, sorry, Wednesday to Sunday, mm -hmm. um, 9 to 3. Uh, this week we're launching our dinners. Uh, we're going to be open for dinner from uh, Fridays and Saturday, mm -hmm. uh, from five to about I would like to say nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I like to be home as early as I can be and hang out with the kids. Um, <laughs> and then we 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 decided, you know, with everything that's happening, uh, we don't want people to come to the restaurant and then we have to turn them away. So we're setting up um, a jerk stand. So mm -hmm. it'll be. A little stand right by the cafe where you can come and get your jerk chicken. Okay. Uh, just like being in the Caribbean. Most mm -hmm. of us, all our holidays are canceled. Mm -hmm. We thought we're going to bring Jamaica to Victoria. Oh, so, nice. Amazing idea. I love that. Yeah. Oh, I can't yeah. wait. When's that coming? Uh, that started, uh, it's going to start tomorrow. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. And it'll be going on the weekend. We'll just see, you know, as our... As our customers are talking to us, as our community is talking to us, we're going to respond and we're going to give them what they really want. Okay, well, I'm going to pop by for that for sure. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds um, good. And then the last thing to go on our plate, uh, when we have greens, uh, what we like to do is after it's, it's, it's been used and uh, we still have a little bit left, we take the greens and we put it into a blender and then we put a little bit of oil with a little bit of salt and we blitz it, right? And the reason why we're doing that is we don't want to throw nothing away, right? But We'll take that flavor of the green and we get this beautiful green oil. Oh, wow. Okay. So that is from taking about uh, a pound of greens. Um, uh -huh. Don't take the greens that you bought right away. It's been sitting in there for a while. You, um, yeah. you, you want to get new greens. You take that, uh, add about a cup of oil, put it into a blender, blitz it, and then just strain it through a coffee filter or something oh, like that. Oh, really? And then you get this beautiful green. Uh, it's flavored because it gets out that, that chlorophyll from the from the vegetables. Um, and then you just add that onto your plate as a garnish. Oh, wow. Wow. That's okay. exactly That's beautiful. Itself. Like, how do you even nice. eat that? I feel like I would be destroying artwork. So that's our With dish. A fork. <laughs> <laughs> With a fork. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but seriously, yeah. have you zoomed in on this? Like, look at the little flowers in there. Mm. That looks beautiful. I love it. <laughs> this is all growing on Vancouver Island. Uh, in the West Shore, you can find most of these ingredients. Um, so, yeah, this is a beautiful place to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice. Do we have any questions so far? No, everybody's saying it looks amazing. Yeah. No one wants us to ruin it, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So, would you? how long would you say this meal takes to cook from start to finish? From start to finish, I would say uh, you want to prep for about half an hour prep. Mm -hmm. um, what's nice is that all your pickled vegetables, these are things that you can do ahead. Okay. Yes. You want to do them and then have them, um, like, when you have a kitchen like this, you know, you, there's so much counter space. Uh, you can set up uh, your t your cannon your cannon jars, yeah. can them and just leave them. So mm -hmm. when you're ready to to prep, when you have your your dinner parties mm -hmm. coming over, all you have to do is be doing what we're doing. You know, yes. you don't want to be cooking all day and then you don't have time to to sit with your guests. So, so I suggest use your kitchen, yeah. utilize your kitchen well. Um, once everything is done and your guests come, then you only have about maybe fifteen mm -hmm. to twenty minutes to put your dishes together. Uh, well, I thought this was cold. fantastic. You're sitting around a, an island yeah. and you get to watch. Uh, it's not you know, like the 1950s Chef when you had to be in a separate kitchen all locked away. You can mm -hmm. sit right here. I do love that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, can you? You're talking about this before. Mm -hmm. This this middle one here. That's uh, something special. And I think this was your last uh, pickled jar. Yes. This one. What's that one? So that's cauliflower mushroom. Mm -hmm. uh, very prized possession here. Um, we picked them in the fall mm -hmm. and like I said earlier, we've pickled them and this is my last jar. So I kind of mm -hmm. take it everywhere with me. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's something that I can keep for a very long time. Um, you can also have it like when you look across in that little nook there, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. You got your books there. You can have your jars there and it becomes a mm -hmm. part of your kitchen uh, decoration. So. Mm -hmm. Jars mm -hmm. like these are great. Uh, you could also pick up the jars in the in the cafe. We do all these pickling in the cafe, so you can pick them up there. But well, not that one. Not no. that one. <laughs> <laughs> Your kids are going to be like one, next right? year's. <laughs> <laughs> Next year's batch. And then what did you say this one was again? Sorry? That's the fiddleheads. Okay, fiddleheads. Yeah. Okay. Wow. 
Oh, very cool. So, and you have them always stocked at your restaurant? Mm, we have them all stocked okay. at the restaurant. Oh, nice. so I've got a question here. Yeah. Can can, uh, can you just repeat what is in the dressing? What is in the dressing? So, uh, we take elderflower and then we steep the elderflower in oil. Um, once we get that oil flavored, mm -hmm. then we take the oil with a bit of mustard, a little bit of um, uh, maple syrup, uh, and then we use uh, white balsamic vinegar. Mm -hmm. and then slowly drizzle our um, uh, our flavor oil into it. So now you've taken that out of flour, now you have it into a dressing. And That's so awesome. You are able to do even the dressing and everything in like an hour. Uh, the dressing I would do ahead. Okay. What I, okay. What, I, what I would suggest is, you know, get your dressing done ahead and do, do about uh, four liters. Yeah. And then jar them, right? How long does it keep? Once you uh, once it's in the room temperature, keep keep forever because we can it. Uh, but once you open it, just like anything else, keep it in the fridge as long as you're using clean utensils. Mm -hmm. Then it'll last for at least four weeks or so. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Exactly. yeah. So the dressings are really really great, and mm. I, I want you to, to start experimenting about dressing. Don't just think about the balsamic mm -hmm. and the regular dressing. Think about wine. Think about fruit. You know, anything that has acidity in it mm -hmm. can help make a dressing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. And can we buy the dressings there as well, like this particular one? Absolutely, you okay. can buy this dressing okay. as well. Okay, yeah. that sounds good. I feel like it'll be a lot better than what I try to make, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Well, that green dressing, that was a great yeah. tip too. I know, too. yeah. And what about the green dressing? Can we get that from your store? The green dressing? Yeah. I know. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll get we'll the see. slice from your yeah. own fridge. <laughs> make your own slice? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the green dressing, I encourage you to make it. Okay, I mean, yeah. easy enough, I guess. Um, you when you have a kitchen like this, you, you got to be able to utilize mm -hmm. it and make some stuff. Grab a few mm -hmm. stuff from us, but get into your kitchen and, and start making it. Nice. Any other questions we've uh, got there? Uh, no, but uh, Marcella said thank you for uh, yeah. explaining the uh, dressing again. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm super excited to make this. I can't wait. Yeah, Are you going to make it? I'm going to try. Yeah, well, I'll get the recipe from you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, and if we we should also post on there the address. So we'll put the link for the House of Boateng. So we'll put that right in there so you guys can just click on it. It'll be right in the comments here of the uh, post and again you said your hours are until 3 p.m you're opening mm -hmm. up for dinner soon yes. okay good good so that's the mm -hmm. breakfast and brunch which i actually mm -hmm. just went for last weekend and it was so good remind me what it's called though i had the crepe with the chicken in it yeah the, what's mm -hmm. it called the risa crepe yes yes it was amazing i had every last bite I, mm -hmm. yeah and it was all garnished like that too, and on that exact plate. Yeah, oh, it's one of yeah. our favorite plates. Yeah. I just had one one question here. Yeah. Somebody wanted to know if there's extra uh, like pantry um, space oh, in here. Oh, yeah, keep the jars. There are yeah. actually. Yeah. We uh, let's see if I can show you. So this might be a little awkward. Sorry, guys, but you can keep all of your canned jars right in here. Can oh, you see yeah. that? Okay. Because you're going to have multiple. Oh, yeah. Right? And there's also extra storage right up top here. So if you're really going shopping, you can load up. And then, of course, we've got lots more, but this is more for, I would say, like cleaning supplies, jackets, and all of that over here. Yeah. But I would say that's the best use for your pantry. And, and then maybe show some of the cabinetry yeah. over here, too. Yeah, there's tons of cupboard space in here. Going right to the ceiling, which yeah. is really nice. So you don't have to worry about dusting up top and all that extra cleaning. And it's uh, soft clothes, so there's no slamming if anyone gets angry. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, it's quiet. <laughs> and cleanup is a breeze in this kitchen, too. We've actually got the quartz countertop, which... Uh, it's not as porous, so if you do get the oils and it spills all over the quartz, it's not going to stain like it might in another counter. So easy cleanup, it's not going to accumulate bacteria. So, And then, of course, once we load the dishwasher full of dishes, that's also going to be super easy cleanup. It's got double the jets, uh, full coverage, so it's uh, you just stick the dishes in like any dishwasher and yeah, it'll yeah. sense it. Yeah, Nicole, maybe you can talk about the... Um... The microwave, somebody was saying, uh, what, what is that above the stove? Right, okay, yeah. so this, I know it looks like a piece of art too. So it's low, so you've got extra space. 
And you actually could, if you wanted, you could cook your vegetables in here. It does have sensing or, or sensing things. So it basically will know when it's all cooked to perfection and then you can pull it out. I mean, you're going to hate that idea. I know. <laughs> Stick your asparagus in the microwave. But hey, if you're in a rush, by all means, use it. And it's um, it doesn't have, uh, like, it's easy for cleanup. So it's, what do you call it? Like non-stick? Non-stick, yeah. Yeah, non-stick. Yeah, mm -hmm. so easy cleanup. Same with the fridge, fingerprint resistant. So if you're getting uh, the oils and everything all over your fingers, I mean, you might want to give it a wipe, <laughs> but you're not going to get all the fingerprints on there. Like, look at what yeah. I'm doing. Are you touching it? I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so cleanup is a breeze in this. Oh, and guess what else is really great? If you want to look down at the floor, this flooring, if I... Sometimes when I'm cleaning my kitchen, I get water everywhere, right? And a lot of condos, they have the laminate flooring, and it actually will lift up over time, and it's a huge complaint from homeowners. But this flooring is scratch-resistant and waterproof, so it's it's a luxury vinyl tile, so you can get all the water you want all over the floor, <clears throat> and you're good. And it's, it carries right through the whole place, so you're not having that chopped-up look if you were to have actual tile in your floor. So that's a little bit about how easy it is to clean and cook in the kitchen. Yeah, any questions about that at all? None are popping up. All right. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, thanks very much. I know. I'm so happy that we were just able to learn this. I'm so appreciative. Thank you. You're welcome. I, yeah, I, I cannot wait to go and make that. So anything else you want to add about what's coming up next for you? You got your... Well, right now, we're just, um, you know, we're excited to be open again. Uh, we're excited to slowly get back to normal um, and, and building our community. You know, mm -hmm. It's been very hard for all of us the last couple of months. And as restaurants, it's been um, it's been difficult for all the restaurants. And yeah. I encourage you to visit all the restaurants in, on the island. Mm -hmm. You know, all these guys are doing a fantastic job. So make sure you visit your neighborhood mm -hmm. restaurant. Um, let's 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 stay home this year yeah you know, let's oh, just stay home and enjoy our neighborhood and there's so many beautiful parks here so and so when, when with your restaurant you, you book online if you want to get a seat in the restaurant so if you want to get a seat in the restaurant dinner time we take reservations for dinner during the week uh, uh the city of langford has allowed us to use um the sidewalk as our, our second patio so during the week when it's weather is great, uh, you can sit outside. So we which is uh, first come first serve, mm -hmm. uh, and our staff is really uh, eager to see everybody coming in. So they're mm -hmm. working hard to make sure everybody gets to see in when they come. Yeah, in. they're so nice there. They really are, and I I really love the idea though of making it because yeah you're right we can't travel right now so let's travel at home let's explore home like we. We don't. Mm -hmm. Like so many people just take off, they don't even really know their own community all that well anymore these days. So it's the jerk truck, is that what it's called? Yeah, well, okay, okay. we haven't named it, but oh. since you've given me that, I, mean, like, okay. I like it. Yeah, it's right. the jerk okay. truck. <laughs> the jerk truck. <laughs> it sounds great. I like it. Okay. I, yeah, I can't wait to get there because that, that is, it's like, you know, mm. being in the Caribbean. Yes, I absolutely. love that. Absolutely. And it's, yeah. it's, it'll be fun. Uh, we'll be playing music out there. <sighs> Yes. You know, this year, we're just going to be creative. We're going to find ways to, to connect with people. Uh, we might not be able to be as close as we like to, but we'll definitely find ways to continue to build our community. Yeah. And you know how they have at Esquimalt Lagoon, they do food trucks and music on the Friday, Saturday nights. I don't know if they're still yeah. going to do that this year, but if they do, will you bring your food truck there too? If they do, we'll definitely get okay. involved. Yeah. Okay, good, we'll good. Get involved. That's nice. really cool. Well, I'm sure I speak for everyone out there watching. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Now we're all award-winning chefs at something. <laughs> <laughs> at one dish, we are. Yay. <laughs> thank that you. Pouring though. aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for joining us. Yeah. Thank you so much. Let us know if you do have any questions at all. We're gonna post in the links. If you have more questions about the Belmont, of course, you can register online. We'll take you through to a personal tour as well. So we'll post that in the comments, and then we're gonna post the House of Boateng in the comments. So if you have any questions about that too, they're both there, easy access. Have an awesome day, everybody. Bye, thank you so much. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.